I'm Deacon Harold Burke Sivers from the Archdiocese of Portland in Oregon. And I think the key to evangelization is the parable of the sower. You know, Jesus talks about there's a guy that goes out with a, some seeds and he throws the seeds and some land on rocky soil, some land on thorny soil, some land on sandy soil, the weeds come and choke it, the birds come and take it, and some land on good soil. Where the seed lands, that's not our issue. Our job is to be faithful and throw the seeds. Why? Because when the seed of faith lands on that person's heart, it's the Holy Spirit that has to till the soil of that person's heart to give it water and sunlight and fertilizer and allow to see the faith to grow. You can't do that. Only God can do that. Our job is to be faithful and throw the seeds. How do we do that? First of all, by understanding that evangelization is all about the encounter with Jesus Christ. At the end of the holy sacrifice of the Mass, we hear the deacon say, Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Get out of here! You just received Jesus in the Eucharist, now go out there in the world and be Eucharist to the world. Let people see and encounter Jesus Christ first and foremost through you, because that's when they first meet Jesus. Everybody thinks, oh, I'll introduce him to the Father, I'll introduce him to some holy person. No! Jesus gave you. You are baptized. You receive those gifts of the Holy Spirit in confirmation, nourished and strengthened by the Eucharist. That's where they encounter Christ. The problem is we think that evangelization means I have to have this devastating argument. If I give them these five proofs from St. Thomas Aquinas, if I give them a Scott Hahn CD, if I give them this, if I just do these things, then they'll be converted. Uh, wrong answer. The, the, all we have to do is plant the seeds. Let me give you an example. I was doing theology on tap, and the bartender, you know, I, I asked a rhetorical question. I said, uh, how many of you would give your kids drugs and alcohol? And everybody laughed. Said, the bartender said, I would. And I thought he was trying to heckle me. I'm like, okay, man, I'm going to have to talk to you after we're done. And so we finished, and I'm packing up. The guy goes, hey, I, I thought we were going to talk about this. I'm like, what? I said, what, who, what person in their right mind would give their kids drugs and alcohol? He said, it's like when I do the shrooms, man. I said, you mean you ingest hallucinogenic mushrooms? Yeah, there's like this entity, man. There's this spiritualness out there, man. I want to feel connected to it. So I drive through this beautiful place, and I go into the, to the woods, and I sit down, I eat the mushrooms, and I get high, and I feel connected to the universe. And I said, you know what? I can appreciate that. So what you're saying is that there's something out there beyond yourself that you want to connect to, and the way you do that is you drive to a beautiful place, you go and sit down, you eat these mushrooms, you get high, you feel connected with whatever is out there, the entity, the universe, and with everything around you. He said, yeah, man. I said, you know what? Let me tell you how we do it as Catholics. We also feel there's something out there beyond ourselves. We call him God. And when we want to encounter this God, we also go to a beautiful place. It's called church. And when we're in the church, we don't eat mushrooms. We receive the Eucharist, which is the body and blood, soul, divinity of the God that we are encountering. And when we, we don't get high, but we're connected with God of the universe. And when we're connected with him, we're one with him and with all these other people around us. He was like, yeah, man. And I was like, yeah, man. And then I got out of there, you know, <laughs> before he asked anything else. But, but that's the key, meeting people where they are. So, and so the, the key is, once you, that person encounters Christ, the next thing is, okay, how do I get this person to want to listen to more of what I have to say. It's not about winning an argument. How do I get that person to go deeper in their walk with Jesus Christ? 